You know, when we started this whole thing at the butcher shop, Bob's Grilling with the butcher shop, it was all about getting you new tricks and teaching you things that you can take to your own backyard. And with Rib Fest happening, we know a lot of those guys and you guys are going to leave Hardy Park and go, I want to do that. Well, that's where Rick comes in. How you doing, buddy? Awesome. Yeah, so uh, can we talk maybe some ribs and pork butt today? We can talk ribs and pork butt. Uh, we have side ribs, we have back ribs, we have beef ribs, we have pork butts. Uh, if you want to do your own pulled pork, we have pork butts. If you want to put your own little spin on some back ribs, we got those too. Well, let's go inside and find out just how many ribs he has. So we started with the ribs, and then we've moved up to the pork butt. Is that actually the pork butt? <laughs> no, it's not the pork butt. Uh, pork butt is the nicer part of the pork shoulder. There's a pork picnic and a pork butt. The butt is the nicer part. All the rivers down at Ribfest, they all use the pork butt for their pulled pork, which is awesome. We have them here. You can do your own little spin on them. If you come in, I can give you a hand and uh, maybe we can get you uh, to cook your own. No, you may not eat that butt. However, you did mention that the rivers down at Hardy Park are going to be using pork butts. The one thing that they have that maybe a lot of people don't are smokers. How would you go about cooking a pork butt for pulled pork at home? If you don't have a smoker, what I do here at the shop, I take a pork shoulder, pork butt, put it in my, uh, uh, put it in my slow cooker overnight with nothing on it except for seasoning. When I get here in the morning, it's already ready. So I just take it, I use the lid, pour off the juice, put in my barbecue sauce, stir it. You don't even have to pull it, it'll just stir as soon as you stir it. How many hours is that then that you're doing overnight? Overnight, I don't know, eight hours, 10 hours. Now the other thing, it's called rib fest. How yeah. would you go about making those ribs? I do mine at home. I cook them for two and a half hours in Pepsi at 250 degrees in the oven. And then I take them out, put them on the barbecue. As soon as they dry up, I baste them with some sauce and the ribs are ready. Smart. S M R T. Uh.